Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Colin with Big Shot Supplies. Today I want to quickly make this video to show you just how easy it is to bypass your pressure washer. Um, some of the benefits of bypassing your pressure washer is that you're not going to ruin the seals on your pump. Uh, essentially, as the water comes in from the source, whether it's from the house, uh, the commercial building you're working on, or if it's coming directly in from a tank, uh, which you can do when you're using like a belt drive uh, unit like this, a gear driven unit or a poly chain uh, driven unit, um, it'll actually vacuum or suck that water from the tank. And typically people use these uh, kind of uh, um, pumps essentially because they're, the pumps themselves are a really high volume. So like an eight or a 10 gallon a minute machine, you can't get that from a house. So you need the water to fill a tank first and then you can draw from that tank at the rate that your pressure washer is uh, rated for. So uh, with bigger units, this is a five gallon a minute uh, machine. If you're working at a house that only uh, put out about three gallons a minute, uh, it wouldn't be able to keep up. So you would risk uh, like ruining the pump by like cavitation, air getting in there, there's not enough water flow. So um, this belt drive unit, um, if it was hooked up directly to a tank um, or a house, cause it still can, um, the water would be coming into the water uh, inlet. It would go uh, through the pump, through these plungers, and then it would shoot the water out the outlet through the unloader, um, down the pressure washing line and out the gun. But as soon as you let off the gun, the unloader is going to close and the water can't come out the outlet anymore. So it's actually gonna bypass through this pigtail here. Um, it's gonna go through the pigtail, back into the inlet, back up through the pump, up, it can't come out here, so it's gonna just continue to circulate. And what that does is that water is just gonna heat up really quickly. And this is why you see um, companies or homeowners uh, or the wise tale, or I guess it's a true story, but telling you that you constantly have to be on the gun and you don't wanna let your pressure washer sit for too long. So the problem with it is if you're out pressure washing and then like your customer comes up to you to talk and you're like, you know, I gotta run back to my pressure washer to quickly like release the pressure so I don't ruin my pump. Well, when you bypass it, that's all over. Um, you don't need to do that anymore. And there's two ways to tie this hose um, back, like to bypass it. You can either take this hose off and what I do um, on some of my machines, I'll just lay the hose up here and then take a tighten strap and strap it down so the water, when it's bypassing, it'll just shoot onto the ground. That you're wasting a bit of water, but on these units that are, um, you know, have a cart and you're moving them around, you're not going to want to tie them directly into a tank. But if this was a skid mount and I had this mounted in the back of my trailer or in the back of the truck and you didn't move it around, then the, the hose, you could actually just run a longer hose and tie it uh, or plumb it directly into your tank so that when you let off the trigger, the water is gonna go through the bypass hose, it's gonna go back into the tank, and then the water is gonna go down to the bottom of the tank and it's gonna come back in. You're gonna constantly get this fresh water going into the pump and you're not gonna waste any water because it's just going back into the tank, to the pump, back into the tank, to the pump, and you're just constantly filling up your tank and you're not wasting any time or, or money or water. So what I'm gonna show you now is some of the tools that you would need to kind of do this. And then I'm gonna show you the steps that you need to take uh, to bypass it. It's really simple, really straightforward. Um, you're just gonna need a couple of fittings and tools. So one of the first things that I'm gonna do is um, look at my bypass coil, uh, or sorry, my, um, my coil here. It's not bypassed yet. Um, from my unloader, it wraps around and it goes back into the inlet. What we want to do is disconnect this hose and plug the inlet down here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but right here you have your inlet. So we're going to cut this hose here, unscrew this. So this is the best option. It's quarter inch. You're going to put thread tape and a sealant on here, which I'll show. And then you just screw it into here to plug that area. So I'll show that right now. First thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and cut this hose. Okay. 
okay. And then using a 14 mil wrench, you're going to unscrew this fitting here. So that comes out. All it is is a barb on the end of this. Then what you're gonna do is take your hex plug, put some thread tape on it. Usually two to three wraps is fine. Doesn't have to be fancy. We like to use this sealant thread sealant right here. Just put a splash of it on here. You don't need too much. Now you're gonna go ahead and thread this fitting in to plug. Got that. This tool that I chose here is not letting me get super tight. Typically you want to have a ratchet here so you have a little bit more room. And yeah, if this um, pressure washer is going to be moving around the job site a lot, then you can just take this hose, take the tighten strap, strap it down like so. And when you let off the trigger, the water is now going to come through the inlet, up through the pump, and instead of coming out here, which it can't because the loader is closed, it's going to bypass and it's just going to spill onto the ground. Um, you can adjust this so that it goes straight down. Over time, it will better. Um, or if you're going back to a tank, which I do suggest so you're not wasting water, is to cut this hose off here um, and then put a new clear poly braid hose or your hose of choice. Um, it's low pressure, so you don't need anything fancy. And then run it from here directly back to your tank. Um, and then on your tank, typically you would um, install a bulkhead fitting, uh, put a threaded uh, by barb fitting on there, and then you would connect your hose to that. Um, so that's the best way. Then the water's gonna go directly back into the tank and this will grab it from the tank again, come up, and it'll just constantly cycle it, which is the best way to save water and to constantly get nice cold, fresh water into the pump. And if you have any questions on that, um, we do have a couple of diagrams that show how to set that up. And you can always give us a call at the store anytime, 604-533-3353. We're located in Langley, BC, Canada. We ship uh, pressure washers like this, all kinds of soft washing units uh, all across Canada. So hit us up, check us out at www.bigshotsupplies.ca and uh, hope you have a great day out there.